New at 11, Tri-Cities investigators now believe the theft of flags at a veteran's memorial is connected to a different flag theft. And this weekend, city officials plan to install some extra security measures. We told you about a flag theft Wednesday at Woodstone Community Entrance in Johnson City. Police told us a man cut a lanyard and drove off with the American flag inside. Police say he was driving what appears to be a yellow two-door Jeep. That theft comes after someone stole flags from the Johnson City, Washington County Veterans Memorial. Memorial. Police say someone stole the American flag and a prisoner of war missing an action flag the weekend before Memorial Day. Officers told us for the first time today they now believe those cases are tied together. News Channel 11's Justin Soto got an update from detectives. Yeah, he's live at the Veterans Memorial in Johnson City tonight where the city is beefing up security. Yeah, Josh, Sarah, it's quiet here tonight at the Veterans Memorial, and that's what people in this community are hoping for. After two recent reports of stolen flags, one back in February and one just last month, and with added security on its way and police still investigating, this neighborhood is just hoping for normalcy. I think it's pathetic, disgusted. Meet Hal Turner. I was in the first camp. A Vietnam War veteran. That's a headband, not a war. As you can see, it's pretty worn. Memories of Turner's time serving his country. Both good memories and bad. Fill his living room. His home just across the street from the Johnson City, Washington County Veterans Memorial. A memorial with two reports of stolen flags just within the past four months. The most recent. Memorial Day weekend. It might stop. Memorial site leaders are trying to make sure it does stop, and they're taking action along with the city of Johnson City. The Johnson City Parks and Rec Department and the Parks and Rec Department personnel will be installing another uh, lock on the flagpole. Two locks on the flagpole aimed at stopping thieves. I can relax at night and not think that somebody's down there destroying our property. All while Johnson City Police work to figure out who's responsible. This photo shows a man who police believe cut a lanyard and stole an American and state flag at the Woodstone neighborhood entrance in Johnson City the week after flags were stolen from the memorial. Investigators now telling us they could be connected. It's a symbol of what we are and just stealing the flag is not going to change anything. But Turner and Memorial Foundation Chair Brenda Barnett both agree. We're not going to be deterred. They're not going to let thieves stop them from honoring the fallen. And back out here live at the Veterans Memorial, as you can see those flags flying high here this evening and that new lock that we were just talking about should be here in the next few days and investigators are still looking for that yellow Jeep Wrangler you saw in this story this evening and the man in that photo. But for now reporting live in Johnson City, Justin Soto News Channel 11 in your corner. And if you can help Johnson City Police solve these flag thefts, you can call them. The Crime Stoppers number is right there on your screen.